from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Happy Fourth of July, good people. I'm Jasmine Stiles. Meteorologist Jason Adams will let you know if your Independence Day plans will stay intact. But in the meantime, let's get you up to speed with your ABC Action News headlines. Our state leads the country in the new number of COVID-19 cases reported every day. The state reports 9,500 new cases and 67 new deaths. That brings the death toll to more than 3,600 people. Yesterday, Florida reported 341 new hospitalizations. That's the biggest daily jump since the pandemic began. Our region tallied 1,900 new cases. Hillsborough once again seeing the highest spike of Tampa Bay with 658 new cases. Pinellas County's at 455. And in better news happening today, the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest will still go on in Brooklyn. The contestants weighed in yesterday. This year, the contest will be held without a crowd because of COVID-19 concerns. And there's only five competitors this go round. It's scheduled for 1220 this afternoon. Six time women's champ Mickey Sudo and 12 times men's champ Joey Chestnut will both compete. Now let's check in with Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. And it's going to be a hot and humid day today with a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. No different than what you would expect from any other Independence Day. We've seen coastal showers already this morning. That will continue and move inland as we go into the afternoon. But not everybody sees the rain. Your rain chance is only around 40%. So like the last few days, actually the last couple of weeks, a lot of us will avoid the rain. But a few lucky spots will get some of those showers to help cool you down. Otherwise, expect partly cloudy skies. Temperatures up to around 90. But that heat index could be as high as 100 to 105. Jasmine. Thank you, Jason. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there.